the spring tunic. All right, this is gonna be way too much fun today. Spring tunics are everywhere. They're so popular, they're quick, they're easy. And again, a couple weeks ago when I did this shirt, it's the kimono, I showed you how to do that. This is $1.95. We're gonna build on this today because it's so quick. I've actually already done my pattern work, so you already have your pattern work. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tunic out of it. So let me show you, uh, before we cut, a couple things that are really wonderful about the spring tunics. They can be knit or woven. Doesn't make a difference. If they're woven, you've got to belt them or find a way to get them, um, you know, drawn back into your body. Otherwise, you'll, you know, you'll be the decorated pillowcase. We don't want that. So I'm going to work with a knit today, but later on I'll show you a woven because I do want to do a woven because there's a lot of, there's a lot of great tunics out there, period. All right, first off, I want to talk about proportions and lengths because I think I just got back from Atlanta and seemingly there's all kinds of issues always about tunics and lengths and you know all that kind of stuff. So we're going to talk about proportions a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this photo as an example and even if you can't see the details. the This was a picture I shot of a tunic at Neiman Marcus. I love the way it looked. I love the way it looked in the mannequin and most of the time when they do these they try really hard to keep those proportions. Obviously they're trying to sell the garment so they want it to look as good as possible. So what you're going to do on a photo to make a proportion to your body is you're going to measure from shoulder to the knee on this photo. And I've done that and it's nine inches. So then I've measured the tunic. Well, before I even do that, it's nine inches. I'm 40 inches from my shoulder to knee. Now that's not a linear measurement. That's, I mean, that's not a depth measurement. That's a linear measurement. I said what I wanted to say backwards. It's a linear measurement. So shoulder to my knee is 40 inches, this mannequin's nine inches. So I did the math and I know I'm four and a half times the size of this mannequin, of this photo, obviously, of this photo, I'm four and a half times. So now all I have to do is measure the tunic, do four and a half times of that, and I know that it will look on me lengthwise the same as it does on the mannequin. So I can get those proportions exactly right. This for me happens to be four to five, and we've talked, kind of talked about that before. Four to five. So when I go and do my sweater set, what I know is I need to add 12 inches to the bottom. The sweater set is what I'm going to use as my base. I'm going to add my 12 inches front and back. That's it. There's only two pieces, the front and the back. And then I'll have it. Again, my base is 195. I measure my tunics. You probably want a four to five proportion. So that means measure from shoulder to knee, divide by five, and four of those are going to be the tunic length. If you're short, 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 and you don't want to, you want to look as tall as you can, you could do a three to five and it would probably work really nicely. It wouldn't be quite as long. And sometimes the longer something is, the shorter you look. So a three to five would be really nice and look really good on you. All right, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, there's a little sewing technique on this that was on a tunic I saw that I really, really liked and I'm gonna do that on this. So I'm going to show you it now so you can see it. I'll sew it. It's with fold over elastic. And along the, this is along the neck edge and the shoulder edge. Remember there's a seam here. The seam is what comes all the way because it's a kimono sleeve. This is all one and it's cut on the fold on the back and on the front. So I'm going all the way. So I took a piece of fold over elastic that would measure all the way from sleeve to sleeve point, front and back. So I've got these two fold over pieces of elastic. You're gonna measure what's needed for the, for the back and the front. And you're gonna put that in the center. And make it a little bit less, cause you know fold over elastic needs a little bit of resistance, but not, not a lot because it's a knit and a knit. and It can be a little less than a one to one. So maybe if this measures, well, let's measure it so we can be more example. If this if this without seam allowances, now I've taken my seam allowances off, measures one, two, three, four, I'd maybe do three and a half for this. Well, let's do the whole thing. If it measures eight, you could do seven and a half and you would be just fine. So I'm gonna go to the middle of the elastic, I'm gonna put a pin and I'm gonna measure seven inches, seven and a half, and divide it both directions. Then what, and do the same to the front because you're going to have a different, the front will be a little longer than the back will be. So you'll have a little bit more length in the front than you will, you will with the back. 
All right, so then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the right sides of the fold over elastic together. There's kind of a shiny side and a non-shiny side. And I'm gonna stitch this together all the rest of the way. I cut this longer so that I would have extra. I'm gonna stitch it together right down the middle and just put your fold over elastic together on the edges and stitch right on the fold line. Because then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this to this side and this to the back side. So I'm gonna push it in then and what you're going to do is have this wide braid, kind of like, is what's going to join the front and the back together. The fold over elastic is actually what's going to join the front and the back together. And it that looks like kind of like a wide piece of trim. It's so awesome looking. It's really, really good looking. Very simple to do. Just another use of this fold over trim that's really fun. So you're going to see I'm just going to fold it together. I'm gonna stitch it together all the rest of the way. The only thing I'm gonna leave open is that neck opening in the middle to where it will cover the neck opening. And again, measure the whole neck opening and take away about a half inch. Do that in the middle and then sew the rest. And because I've cut extra, I'll have extra once I come down here and I'm just gonna turn it under for the hem. I'm not going to put fold over elastic on the edges because I don't like the horizontal lines. I think everything needs to, I mean, I don't like the vertical. I think everything needs to stay on the focal point then the focal point is going to be the neck edge because this is a print. And so that, that black fold over is gonna catch that focus of it. Again, because this is a tunic, I'm gonna put a little belt with it, but those are all options that you can do or you don't have to do. Either way, it keeps it really simple. But necklaces are also good with this and I'm gonna kind of pick up a necklace on this also. But anyway, so these spring tunics are wonderful. Let's get sewing. I'm gonna cut out first and then we can sew. One more thing I want to show you just to clarify, and you saw me doing it as I was sewing, but I want to make sure you knew what I was doing. When you go to sew this, remember I cut off the seam allowance, I cut off the seam allowance so that the elastic would be normal because it's going to join here. You want to trim that, just curve that so that the elastic can continue. It's joined right here, but just curve, cut that off and that's front and back just so that elastic can be continuous and we'll show you that. Just wanted to make sure you understood that. All right.
I love my spring tunic. I love it. I love it. And I know it's so current and fresh. And then today we show you a little beautiful trim here. This fold over elastic in a little different way to where it's sewn together. You, it's all in there. You saw how to do it, continuing around. You can do that to any neckline. Just be sure again to cut off your seam allowance because see your, your front and your back are butted together right there. The, the fold over elastic is your seam allowance. So get rid of that seam allowance before you add it on and just have fun. And then I added a little bling because bling is everywhere for spring. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.